Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for rocking with me. It's just really, it feels really good to know that the things that I go through, even though it's like a crazy journey, um, being able to know myself inside and out on all different levels, on all different you know different ways it's truly a blessing just to know that you know other people are going through the same things too and we can all help each other you know conquer the world <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you uh have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, especially uh, empath that are going through, you know, trying times and they need confirmation and validation towards the life path or even their soul mission. Um, go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it is totally appreciated and I hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and today I'm listening to three hours of long Tibetan singing bowl meditation chakra healing and third eye brow chakra um, and I will boast up uh, boast post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 uh hey okay, is when when we are being at at peace with our transformation um being able to go on the self-discovery has just been a, a crazy journey a crazy experience for you to you know go through um just because the fact is it's like a lot of things seem surreal like if you're trying to explain to somebody who has not been fully awakened or gone through their spiritual you know their their spiritual awakening they're gonna be thinking we crazy that's why i try not to explain myself to too many people when is that message is meant for you you know it's for you you know because at, at times when people used to tell me certain things that was going through their life and i didn't experience my spiritual awakening i thought those folks was crazy i'm like oh hell no nah. <laughs> what you talking about you know i'm like okay whatever but then when you have to go through it for yourself it, it can be very you know tragic uh, surreal as well you know as I said before it can be very depressing and it can make you want to step back you know it, it takes you back a minute you know and it's just like you know, th there's been a lot of my love folks y'all telling me about your experiences y'all seeing certain things like you know you really thought you were tripping out you know a lot of things we can experience I've never took acid in my life but it's just like when you see movies and they're showing how the people are are like tripping off of certain things or even from what I've heard from prior friends that have did that you know it sounds like an acid trip you know it's like especially when I used to dream about my dad everything was bright like you, I don't know if we were like in the spiritual realm or something but it looked like everything was bright and enhanced and we were the only ones that you know it matched you know in the dream it's kind of weird to explain but you know every experience i've been on since my spiritual awakening after my father's death you know has been really wild it allowed me to know everything that went on in my life knowing how we connected in so many different ways you know knowing how you're connecting with certain things in so many different ways it can really shock you and you're just like in disbelief at disbelief at times like is this real is this real life you know is this really you know my experience you know because it's like a lot of times i look at my dad and i'm just like are you really my dad for real <laughs> he's like would you stop saying that because it's like when you do when you see celebrities you're like dad do they do the same things that you know the average folks do <laughs> and you're like yeah we're still human i'm like okay so it's just like dealing with these experiences you have to be able to trust the situation trust the universe that's taking you through this journey for a certain reason no matter you know how depressing it can be at times you have to have faith within yourself confidence within yourself and confidence and faith throughout the universe that they're sending you towards this for you to be able to learn a lot of things about yourself inside and out in so many different levels and so many different directions and you're looking at different things in different perspectives so it's just like you have to be able to know 
that better things are coming for you. You get the signs, you get the visions, you get the dreams. You know, the dreams might be crazy. And it's like, especially what we're going through. We just went through the super moon. What was it? Day before yesterday or yesterday. I can't remember. But, you know, all this stuff, it got me like really tired. You know, I got really relaxed. Now this right here is like, you know, a lot of people are like, if, you know, for this meditation, if you experience anxiety, or are you currently going through anxiety, anxiety, you know, it'll make you very relaxed. And that's why I'm feeling because it's like right here is starting to mess with me. I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of getting these headaches through the third eye because that must be cracking open and make, make my head hurt. Because there's a lot of times where you'll just stand there and feel your third eye like pulsating and you're like, that hurts you know but then it allows you to see a lot of things seeing how you can be able to connect like right now I'm feeling like um third eye pulsations as well as uh euphoric you know feeling like I'm on cloud nine or something like that if you ever been to the dentist and had to take that that nitro or whatever that mess is that they give you that's what it makes me feel like and I'm, I'm like, I told y'all I don't smoke anymore. So it's just like, it feels like that trippy trip without smoking weed. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, I, I'm trusting this. All right. Hey, you got me on the natural high. But going through all these different things on different on different levels has truly like blessed me in so many different ways even though it might seem tragic at that time when I take my feelings out of the situation and truly see the bigger picture on why I had to go through certain things why am I seeing things the way they are allowing me to be able to uh feel things that I wasn't able to feel before or I was but it was like I was blocking myself because I thought something was really wrong with me because at times you know especially I've been re recently getting comments from y'all that you know it feels crazy or nobody believes the things that you're saying or it's just like if you're really watching it you really think something wrong with you like that why am I seeing everything the way it is everything shimmering everything is this everything is that you know because it's allowing you with the upgrades and the downloads you're getting lately and you're going through this major shift it will allow you to see things very enhanced it's like if you ever watched the movie with Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer, The Wolf, I love that movie. Especially with Jack Nicholson. That's my actor right there, along with the OGs of like, you know, Al Pacino and Marlon Brando and Sean Connery. I love those old actors. I said those are the real OGs of the OGs of actors. But they play good parts. But it was like with Jack Nicholson, he always go real far out with his. And, you know, being able to see like he was like bit by that wolf and all of a sudden everything got enhanced to him he's starting to see things smell things sense things in a different way and that's how it feels you know without having that little nasty bite or that scratch from a wolf you know going through all those things everything is enhanced to you your your taste buds are probably take uh changing as well as uh your sense of hearing every you're hearing everything or you're getting these high-pitched you know uh ringing in your ear you know that's taking you to another you know form of consciousness it's trying to you know have you aligned with it you know I'm constantly getting chills like right now I'm just, I'm just getting the chills and I'm just like, Ugh. you know it's just weird but you have to be able to trust everything that you're going through is for a positive purpose no matter how hard it may seem at times it, it can be really tragic you know it can really put you in a you know a depressing state but you have to know this is for the greater good for you you know um you're going through a lot of things and it's just like when you have that strength to know that you have endured so much in life that is just strength and strength alone and you know the act of god to let you know you have been able to endure so much pain but yet you're still trying to make people happy you still want to see you know happy things for yourself as well as for other people being able to feel love and be able to reciprocate that is a beautiful feeling really a beautiful feeling and it's just like it allows you to look at how far you came I mean, you can turn back and look at the hands of time of all the things that you're going through and every time I keep saying certain things my phone keeps lighting up and it's like you know I, I look at the tragedy I've experienced I've endured for so many years you know, of uh, not truly understanding why I had to go through the things I went through. You know, times I cry, you know, not because I'm sad. It's just because I've made it a far, you know, even though I'm not where I want to be yet, I feel like I've made it so far, 
you know, I've endured so much. I've experienced so much being able to help people put an understanding through their tragedies, you know, is a blessing. Um, and being able to do that and being able to help other people, it's truly been a blessing, you know, cause for the cause. I, I apologize, y'all. I was like, universe told me to write that down, putting understanding to your tragedy. I guess they want me to talk about that on a certain content as well. But yeah, going through all those different things, it allows you to really truly see the purpose behind your your situation. Being able to know, you know, there's a lot of times, as soon as I say that, my phone lit up. Uh, being able, you know, you've... you've endure it so much you might be in a spot that's very stressful you ready i mean it puts you in a world of depression at times it, it makes you cry because you're so desperately wanting to get out that situation trust me i know because it's like my situation is like you know um being able to take the anger out of what you know my mom's ex-husband and his wife did to me uh as well as her children i've endured me for i mean there's times i cry because it's just the fact is you know i when people expect you to be enraged about certain things that they know they've done to you and they've seen how they have affected you you know it, it's a sad feeling when people get off on seeing other people upset it's sad when people look forward to things to see your your downfall like they really you know you have to be a really depressed sad person for you to be able to want to endure that and allow yourself to want to see you know a tragedy in the making like oh yes i did this to that person and i love that you know i like to see them crawl i like to see them you know being sad and being able to approach people like that and not be enraged to them telling you hey you did this and this and this and that it was truly a blessing to me you know i look at that and i you know i cry at times because i'm like you know what that was my main downfall right there is just being able to have hatred in my heart towards the people that kept me apart from my biological family and not letting them know like hey you can't be in my life you're not gonna get your cake and eat it too you're not gonna destroy my life while I rebuilt it and you can be able to see the things that are going on I'm like no I'm uh -uh. <laughs> separating myself from you and I'm so proud of myself you know I I mean I constantly hear my mom telling me how proud she is of me I was doing things that she had no she didn't have that courage to do you know so I, I put that towards my mom you know doing this for my mom doing this for my children being able to know that I the, the pain that I have endured has brought so much wisdom and strength to me that I wasn't aware that I had you know um, being able to see that for what it truly was it's just like you set yourself in this place for you to be going through the utmost tragedy that any anything could go you know any person could go through i said i don't wish this on my worst enemy to be you know that's a hurtful feeling to know that somebody kept you away from your biological family and not the fact that they just kept you away you know not for a psychological reason but financial just for them to be able to live comfortable and it was like you know they don't have that effect on me and i use that as an example because that that's you know, when you can be able to endure something like that and be able to look that person in the eye and say, you just don't have that effect on me anymore like you used to, that boy, <laughs> that, that was just something that really stood out for me. And it's just like, you know, not to keep bringing it up, but that was just like something I never thought I would be able to get over. That was never anything that I thought I was going to be able to be looking in their face without wanting to lay hands on them you know that was a beautiful blessing so it's just like I see the tragedy I had to go through I see the example that I had to set you know uh being able to know that when you endure things the most gut-riching thing you know you would never wish on your enemy you never want somebody to ever feel that that way uh, how you felt you know you want somebody to see that yes i went through this yes i endured these situations but look how far i came from the situation that was placed upon my life being able to heal 
grow and strengthen yourself in places where you felt weak. Have faith in things that you, you weren't able to see, but knowing this was for the greater good for everything. Even though it was a tragic situation, you had to be able to step back and see why this happened to you. See what you overcame, what you conquered, what you would succeed on. So you have to be able to trust the transformations that the universe is placing upon your life. Have, having you mature in so many different ways. You know, you're, you know, um, when you see that you have taken a lot of people out of your life, you, you're placing boundaries on your respect of your life, how, you know, you, you want things to be done. Not the fact of being controlling, but the fact is you never want somebody to fear you, but you rather for them to respect you, respect your boundaries, respect your, your limits. Like I, I got those. I didn't, you know, I used to always let people barricade and run over my, my, my ex you know, my, my limitations and I'm not allowing that to affect me anymore. I said, no, I put limitations up, you know, I do what I do for a reason, you know, um, but being able to trust your process of the transformation that has been placed upon your life for you to be that best version of yourself, you really need to trust that. So don't ever second guess yourself. Don't ever second guess the universe because they're placing you in certain situations for a reason, for you to be able to learn, for you to be able to grow, for you to be able to be strengthened in so many different levels you weren't able to do before. So um, the, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I know it's like over 16 minutes long, so I know it's going to take about three hours for this to you know, upload. But I hope you had a blessed week. This week is almost over with. And I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Princess Laura. Um, as well as, let me see who else. Um, Sarah uh, Warsham, much love to you as well. And I'll see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate with this. Give me a thumbs up. Share. You know, um, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be well.